my awesome Prairie Elementary artists doing today? I'm saying hi from my kitchen table. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm excited to make some art with you today. And I can't wait to see what you post on Seesaw. Make sure that you're hitting the green check mark when you post your picture on Seesaw and that you're putting it in the art folder. If you're not sure how to do that, I will help you. Hi fourth grade, today we're going to be taking a look at some keyhole drawings and trying to make our own version. So you're going to have to have your imagination and creativity flowing today. Since we're currently stuck inside our houses, I want you to imagine some place that you would like to visit right now. Um, we're going to be drawing a picture that looks like we're looking out through a keyhole on a door into some place that we would want to be. So I have some ex examples for you. A few ideas could be a park a swimming pool, a lake, the ocean, mountains, a sporting event, school, a movie theater, or a friend's house. So here's a few examples looking through the keyhole on a door and then we're going to draw the picture of the place where we'd like to be on the inside of it. So use your creativity and imagination to come up with a good drawing. The example that I'm going to draw for you is a picture of a beach looking through my keyhole. So the first thing I do to draw my keyhole is I kind of sketch out a circle shape very lightly and then I make two slanty lines down almost like a triangle is overlapping my circle. Once I get my shapes all mapped out I can go back over top darker and then erase my extra sketch lines. After I have my keyhole drawn, I'm going to start mapping out my ground lines. So I make one ground line on the bottom for the beach and one on the top for where my water is going to be and my sky. Then I start adding the details that I want on my beach. Things like palm trees or a chair or an umbrella. When I start coloring, I'm going to outline with the main color that I'm using and then I draw the inside a little bit lighter. For example, on my palm trees, I'm outlining with a brown colored pencil and I'm pushing with enough pressure to make a dark line and then I fill in the middle with lighter pressure so that it, you can still see my lines. When I start coloring my sand, I like to color with yellow first and then put brown on top of it so it looks like a sandy color if I don't have a tan colored pencil.
I chose to use three different shades of blue for my water, and I chose my darkest color of blue for the top of my water since it was further away, and the lightest color on the bottom of my water. Notice I also left a few white spaces because I'm going to put a sunset in my sky, and I want the sunset to reflect on the water. I also always only draw with horizontal lines when I'm drawing my water and my sky. When I start coloring my sunrise or my sunset, I always start with yellow. I have yellow, orange, pink, light red, dark red. And when I color in my sunshine, it does not have to be a half circle. Sometimes when you have a sunrise or a sunset, it lights up the whole sky and you can't see the sun being defined as a specific shape. coloring in my door I chose a gray marker because I wanted it to look like silver. Usually around the lock on your door is some type of metal and I thought maybe a gray marker would look more like metal. If you go back to some of the examples I showed you at the very beginning they do a really nice job of adding details to make it look like a door or you could go look at your own door and see what kind of details are around the lock. Mm -hmm. 